this play, this play. It was incredibly crafted, unbelievably written. It was surprising in so many ways, and uh, it's beautiful. Everybody goes through life and death, and, and relationship, and being straight, or gay, or both. There's so many different things that people need, need to hear and, and, and feel, and in an hour and 40 minutes of your life, you have all those elements. Anytime that you're talking about themes, the, like the ones that are in this play, such human themes, I mean, the way people deal with death or don't deal with death, the way people deal or don't deal with each other, everybody in this play is dealing and not dealing with their lives. It's incredibly international in the sense that it touches on the major themes of life, love and death, um, how to live a good life while we're alive. And uh, you're meeting a group of people who are all at that moment in their life of decision or indecision and a, and a sort of um, cataclysmic moment in all their lives. The only reason why you ever do a play, which is a theater is a profession where you make no money whatsoever, um, you definitely don't do it for that. Right? You do it for unbelievable wordsmiths like Melissa James Gibson and to be on stage with absolutely stellar actors like everyone in this cast. To me, if I need to compare any, anybody to Melissa Gibson, her writing will be Moliere. She's, she's one of a kind. Her writing is so precise and it's actually quite heightened even though it comes across as so naturalistic. It's always asking you to be present and ready and and for me I enjoy that because having I've done it once before and I'm doing it again it still remains challenging and it's always kind of asking you to be alert. Melissa James Gibson is one of the most amazing American playwrights and so a chance to revisit this play which I think is an incredible play is just an amazing opportunity. Don't watch a video, come and see this.